flirting with other women. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on back here? Oh, dude. Push. Push. Three. Three, three, three. Good morning. We got some babies hanging out. I'll feed you guys in a sec. Yes. Beautiful. She'll come back. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have to catch her. You stay here, she'll be back. Mama. So new plan for this morning while I have Carissa. I think I might take this little one to the vet clinic. It's got tremors. Its eyes really shake, which is to me, it's neurological. So it's not shivering. It's literally just like, it's got tremors. Feet aren't great. Like it, it, it's got no strength to stand up. So I tube fed it this morning. Uh, of course the bottle goes into its mouth, but it doesn't even know how to suck. So uh, we'll see what she said. I'm sure she'll have to put it down, but I'd like to know what is causing that his sisters are doing amazing so like why is it not anyway good news story my little dopey one over there drank a hundred mils for me today out of the bottle that's the one i tube fed for like two and a half days so these two we will put back in the uh in the barn today these two strong ones i just want to wait till the barn warms up a bit going from 12 degrees to Minus five might be a bit of a shock to the system. Hey, even with a wool coat. I had a trip to the vet clinic this morning and I took that little lamb that had all the tremors. And so she ran a bunch of just physical testing on her to test her brain and how it was firing. And it's, it, it was completely blind, 100% blind. She said prognosis isn't the greatest on this lamb. Um, so we did put that one down. I also brought another one that we tube fed for two days that had all that really raspy sound in its chest. It was weak when it was born. Chris had brought it right in. We got it warmed up. We've been feeding it. We were tube feeding it just like the one still downstairs. Um, so I said, can you please do a autopsy on the lungs? I want to know what I'm dealing with. Like, what does this fluid look like? So she opened it up and, uh, sure enough, it had, she goes, if you're lucky, it had maybe 25% of its, its lung capacity. It just was not breathing well. So she said, you diagnosed it right. Like there was something going on with its chest. So, uh, it was going to go anyway. I said, what about the one I've saved or thinking that I've saved? She goes, it should have probably died too. And it still might. If its lungs look anything like how angry the lungs looked on the little one that passed on overnight, um, it probably might have the same prognosis as that one. I get so emotional when a little, a little one is put down. Starting with mad, you're starting with the easy target. Oh. <laughs> you flirting with other women? Yeah. You flirting? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, you don't hate me forever. Yeah. Yeah. 
earth. Do you ever, is this just one time and that's it? It's, I used to try to do two. Okay, because I, oh, I thought, I used to try to do two. There, you get three weeks of protection, so I usually try to do it now, and then do it when I wean. Or like, it should match up real close to when I wean them. And then it, it's like, whenever there's a big ch change in your food is when I like to do it, because that's when they'll get the green overload. It's nice to do something that's not raining. Where my sheep know when it's shift change. Carissa just left. She gave me a hand this afternoon. We uh, vaccinated our little bottle lambs uh, for their clostridial antibodies. It's an antitoxin actually, and it's to protect them from clostridial issues. Mum has the, the real good protection that would go through her milk, and obviously I pulled them off, so they're not getting as much as the ones that got left with mum. I like to do that when I introduce anything different with the feed. And while we were doing that, this ewe lamb, I'm thinking it's a first timer, dropped her lamb, didn't even know it was there. She was just running around like a fool. So I wasn't sure it was gonna take this lamb and it's starting to lick it off. I think she's due for another one, but the lamb looks good. So while those two get acquainted, um, another observation I made this morning when I was moving some of these ewes and lambs out is this mama here had, this mama here, oh my god there's so many sheep, had uh, triplets the other day. She is so full of milk that her one teat, her right teat is really quite engorged and they're such little lambs that they've only been serviced on one side and Chris was Carissa has been trying to actually feed them bottles. They will not take it. So she is feeding, like her udder is beautiful. Hi, I'm talking about your udder. Excuse us. What I did is I took my milk machine this morning. I got a lot out of one side. So I'm gonna do that again right now because it looks like the teat is once again puffed up pretty good. So this is the utterly easy milk machine. So we're gonna give her a go. Kind of an eventful ending but she's a really sweet you actually compared to some trying to put this on so this is this afternoon's collection we got i got uh probably one and a half of these this morning off that side and it's a lot smaller and it looks like maybe they've been on it oh mama just lambed again i missed it sorry good girl all by yourself excellent you're having another one aren't you you having another one? What's going on back here? Oh, dude. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Look at me. Look at your baby. Here.
literally climbing out. Beautiful. Okay, we're missing a lamb. Oh, it's over there. Girl. Once again, the night check already, and uh, just checked my cameras, and looks like we may have a new little arrival. They know when Carissa leaves. As soon as she's out the door, someone lays down, pops out a baby. Just for little old me. I'd feel honored if I wasn't so tired. <laughs> Good timing, ladies. Have a second here. Come on. Got that under control. Oh my god, ladies. Push. No, no, no. Thanks a lot. Not you. Good girl. Get out, get out, get out. You have a belly. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Push. Push. Hi. This lambing is most definitely the lambing of threes. Three, three, three. Good morning. <laughs> morning guys, it is Tuesday, which means we have been lambing for 16 days. Not counting, but counting. We'll see if we have babies. I'll be back. Uh, Mom. Is yours too? Get ya. Oh, fur. A two to love. Favoritism. Really hoping her hormones. Ooh. Will kick in, but so far she just likes one. Oh. We'll see. Time. I'm hoping. Until then, I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> well, I was afraid of this. No dice. Uh, it wouldn't drink. 
So I checked his temperature and uh, it's 34.8. So we got some warming up to do. I think it's minus five in the barn this morning. And I just think mom has obviously been distracted by the other lamb. She doesn't hate this one. I just honestly don't think she knew she had it. Likely the other one was running around and she just dumped it out her back end and didn't even know it was there. All right, let's get you warmed up. Make you a little sausage. Here. As long as a bug. That shouldn't take too long. In the meantime, how about we get you fed? Good job, buddy. You're a girl. And it's aggressive. That is beautiful. It's magic. It's my magic bus. We have had 75 mils of glorious colostrum. She is so perky and so happy. So we're gonna see if mom will take it, but it's only been like half an hour and I'm already attached. She's yelling for you, do you think? Think she'll take you back? This is why I keep the fluids on, like the smell on, don't wash them off. So this perhaps might happen. Are you gonna take this one? It's pretty sweet. Okay, I strategically put her in this pen because my camera is right there. It's almost one o'clock and I'm so hungry. I've got two more, I think, on deck and the next lamb here is coming out the right way. So she is more than capable of doing it on her own. The feet are there, the nose is right behind. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch while I eat my lunch. You still haven't had it. I mean, I ate fast, but I didn't eat that fast. Uh oh. There you go. Oh, 
Girl. I didn't help. I just caught. Oh, look at your face. Oh my goodness. You're so cute, Mama. Hi. Hi. Another girl. Yeah. Is that it? Those are huge. Yes. I checked you. Yes. Good girl. Ready? You had this. Uh, Mum? That's quick. Stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs>